The Primus presents why the Dubai Creek might never see completion. Oil has made Dubai one of the richest states or emirates in the world. The city is the wealthy trading hub for the Gulf and Africa. Even though Dubai has little oil, black gold has made the city rich. In less than 50 years, its robust economy has made Dubai an affluent state and admired around the world. Dubai's economy has always remained dependent on revenues generated by selling oil because natural sources are depleting every passing day. Dubai is trying to shift its oil-based economy to tourism. How is Dubai doing that? By making magnanimous structures that attract a lot of eyeballs. Such structures like the Burj Khalifa have the potential to attract tourism and consequently, an alternative economical boom. If we talked about Burj Khalifa, it brought around 20 million visitors to Dubai and those visitors spent around $30 billion on the city each year. Dubai did not stop after making the tallest building in the world, as the magnificent city kept looking for opportunities that could potentially take the regime of building the megastructures to a whole new level. These efforts gave birth to two major ideas, i.e. Dubai Creek. The assessed height of Dubai Creek will be around 928 to 1300 meters, as the developer Imar opted for keeping the exact height confidential. Located 8 kilometers east of Burj Khalifa, the finishing cost of this tower will be around $1 billion. Even with such a mammoth investment, Dubai Creek Tower was never going to be perceived as the world's tallest skyscraper. Because, as indicated by the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, CTBUH, which a construction is considered a building only if at least 50% of its height is habitable. For Dubai Creek Tower, less than 30% of the height will have habitable floors since the lower 70% of the tower will be for structural integrity and elevators. So why would Dubai be interested in making such a structure? Well, the reason for that is twofold. Number one, the city of Dubai wants to keep the title of the tallest man-made structure to itself. As when this project was announced, there were a few projects that potentially threatened the position of the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. Secondly, such mammoth structures gather a lot of eyeballs, resulting in increased tourism, and hence increased tourism revenue. Dubai Creek, as per its design philosophy, will emit a beacon of light from its peak at night. At the top, there will be an oval-shaped bud, housing 10 observation decks, decorated like gardens inspired by the ancient hanging gardens of Babylon. Special rotating balconies that resemble balconies set at the margin of the deck, half of such a platform is outside the facade of the tower. The most distinctive feature of Dubai Creek Tower will be its cable arrays, which were inspired by the ribbing of lily leaves. These cables are attached to a central reinforced concrete core. Hence, these cables, apart from serving as garnish items, will also be supporting the tower, and they will have LEDs for scintillating light shows at nighttime. The Dubai Creek Tower is insanely tall, but it will only have 20 inhabitable floors. And on these floors, there will be hotels, restaurants, and even residential areas. Below the tower, there will be a large plaza that will offer mesmerizing views of the mega-tall structure. The tower is supposed to resemble a minaret, which has a lot of significance in Muslim architecture and culture. Around the same time when the construction processes on Jeddah Tower, which was being built in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, halted due to corruption charges on the owners of the companies behind that tower, work also stopped at Dubai Creek Tower. Right after its foundations were completed, and the tower was only formally put on hold in 2020, as Dubai went into lockdown. Bear in mind that the tower was supposed to be completed before Dubai Expo 2020, and it's writing on the wall that the dates were way too ambitious. As of December 7, 2020, the suspension of the construction was declared indefinitely until the government allows work to resume once the pandemic is under control. Fun fact, the foundations were laid way before the expected date. Recent years have also seen Dubai's property market waver, an ongoing fallout from the 2008 global financial crisis, and a drop in the price of oil has left the city with an oversupply of homes and offices. The added impact of the pandemic and the subsequent global economic downturn may ultimately prove too much for the tower to proceed. Despite the context, Imar property strongly resisted all the wishy-washy and insisted that the tower will be completed in 2022. This might sound a bit ambitious again, but it could be possible, as the tower is relatively simple to construct. Until then, plans for Dubai Creek Tower sit waiting, ready in case any city challenges Dubai, 
for the title of the world's tallest structure. So guys, that's why Dubai Creek might never be complete. How do you guys feel about the fate of this project? Do give us your opinion in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, do leave us with a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.